Road America, Elkhart Lake, Wisconsin. Mecca for motor racing enthusiasts. It's certainly appropriate that our pretty neophyte's first view of Road America should be from the air. For well, that's the way Elkhart Lake was chosen by Sports Car Club of America officials when they went looking for a road racing site soon after World War II. Our budding racing aficionado gets a ride from the airport onto the track in a sports car which is a direct descendant from those which ran on the streets of Elkhart Lake in the early post-war years. For those first races, the town and country roads were closed to traffic. A few hay bales protected the bank and other buildings, and the racers screamed down the main streets. But Elkhart Lake became so famous that the crowds were impossible to control. And as the speeds of the sports racing cars grew every year, the original course became a safety worry to officials. Let's get the feel of the course. The bright red car moved smoothly down the Road America Main Street from the start-finish line to corner one. The corner poses no problem for our driver today, but she can well imagine what it's like to have more than a dozen high-performance cars screaming through the corner so closely packed that one mistake can mean disaster for several drivers. Now into corner three. And under the bridge, as we motor peacefully over the 27-foot wide course described as four miles of typical American highway. Mr. Cliff Tufty, the man whose unswerving determination made it a possibility. When public road racing was banned in 1953, Cliff was one of the first to see the need of preserving the racing that had started on the streets of Elkhart Lake in 1950. In 1954, he picked out the perfect spot for a road racing course, a closed circuit where even the fastest cars could compete and crowds watch with full safety and enjoyment. It's a true test of performance with nearly 200 feet difference in elevation from the lowest point on the track to the highest. 